What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flipping Cars for Cash. I'm at another I'm at another silent auction today, and that's just what it means. It's a silent auction. So I'm gonna look at these cars and I'll put a bid in on it and hope to get some. I don't really like silent auctions because sometimes I'm willing to go up a $50 bill. You know, and then when you're a silent auction, you put that number in there, it is what it is. So I kind of don't like them, but we're gonna try and get some cars today. First one I'm gonna be looking at is the 09 Jeep Wrangler. Check this out. This 09 Wrangler is a four door. It's got 180,000 miles on it. It's got the electric winch on it. Body's in excellent shape. Uh, it's got a check engine light and a major hesitation when you give it the gas. I mean, it's really sluggish, almost like the timing is off. Uh, rust on it is fairly next to nothing. Interior is super clean. It's got, you know, dirt. It's common, but I mean, other than that, it's no, no rips, no tears. It's got a hard top. Paint looks really good on it. Uh, this car has a rough trade-in of 9600 bucks and a clean retail of $14,000. So we're going to try to come up somewhere around there and see what we can come up with. I'll put a bid on it and let you know. All right, guys, next one I'm looking at is a 13 Focus. It's got about 95,000 miles on it. Uh, super clean paint job, interior super clean, no check engine lights, uh, runs and drives really good. It's got a rough trade-in of about $2,800, average trade-in of about $35, and a clean retail of about $6,250, it says. <clears throat> the left rear quarter panel and rear bumper has a scuff mark on it. Other than that, it's in super shape. Interior is really clean. Black interior, grayish black. All right, clean car. I'll put some numbers on this one and see what I come up with. All right, guys, here's one. It's a 04 Toyota 4Runner. It's the SR5 model. It's got 193,000 miles. The um, body on it's in real good shape. It's got a rough trade-in of about 2,800 and a retail of about 6,700. But here's the kicker. It's pretty much wrecked up front. Everything is above the frame rails though. Needs a set of headlights, a hood, left and right fender. Raising the hood, you can see the radiator support is laid in a little bit. They cracked the cover, engine cover. Looking at the fluid. It doesn't appear to have any fluid in the radiator, so you're probably going to have a radiator and condenser. We'll price out some parts on this and see what we come up with. But I'm definitely going to put a number on it because I don't mind buying cars that are wrecked. Real quick, let's take a look at the interior. The interior is really clean. You know, sometimes a wrecked car, I have bought a bunch of them and I've sold a bunch of them. They make the best car sometimes. Because one thing about it, if you buy a wrecked car, one thing's for certain, it was definitely running before it was wrecked. And now I have never bought a wrecked car that had a bad engine or transmission. All right, guys, we'll put some numbers on this and see what I come up with. Looking at a Liberty, a 04 Jeep Liberty. I just kind of drove it around. I mean, it's got some pep to it, but it's 
I don't know, it just feels a little funny in the suspension. And they're a Baltimore Ravens fan, so it's probably ragged out truck. Especially if you're a Ravens fan. Body's pretty clean. It's got scuff marks here or there. The tires needs rear tires. AC doesn't work. And this flares off here. It needs to be just put back on. Interior's kind of crappy, to be honest with you. Seats are bad, dirty, extremely dirty. No major tears anywhere except for the driver's seat. It's pretty much worn out. This car needs $500 worth of cleaning. All right, numbers in this thing. It's got a rough trade-in at $1,200 and a clean retail of $4,225. Well, to be honest with you, I'm going to put some numbers on it, but it is going to be well below $1,225 on a price because it's, it's, too, it's just not there. It needs too much work. But we are definitely going to put a number on it. This is probably gonna be the deal of the day here. It's an 04 F-150 pickup truck. And it's in real good shape. I mean, normally pickups are pretty well trashed out. Tires look good. It's got some dings and dents on it, but it's a pickup truck. I mean, little things like that. Got a spray in bed liner. Toolbox on it. Uh, the body's in pretty good shape. Like I said, normally people rag trucks out. You know, you buy a truck, you're gonna use it. If I buy a truck, I'm a dog it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride it hard. I'm gonna put crap in it, and you know it's going it's going to definitely get its use. I don't buy a truck for a, to drive it like a luxury car, and I'm assuming most people are like me. But you do have the occasional person who wants to buy a car or buy a pickup, should I say, and just drive it like it's grandma should be driving it or something. It's got the extra doors the cab on it super clean inside really is clean truck let's, you know let's look at the numbers in this thing uh, numbers numbers on this truck it's got a rough trade-in of a thousand seventy five and a clean retail of forty five hundred bucks um, I'm gonna put some good numbers on this one I'm gonna try to get this one here I'll let you know all right, guys, I just finished looking at the last car. Um, I'm going to put some numbers in, see what we come up with. I'm at a silent auction. You know, anything can happen. It's a shot in the dark anytime you're at a silent auction. But we're going to give it a shot. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.